Here we are at the last screencast, number six, for the immune system for lecture. It's been a long trip, hasn't it? All right, so let's look at the specific jobs of T cells. So there are three that I want you to learn. Uh, these are the three big ones, and uh, the others, anything else would just be subcategories. So helper T cells. Now, they're called helper, but like I said, they, they're absolutely critical. For example, HIV attacks helper T cells, and if you lose all the helper T cells, your entire immune system crashes. So they are absolutely necessary. They do a lot. They activate all these cells. They induce, that's they, they cause uh, proliferation, multiplication. And they stimulate co-stimulation and cytokines. So these guys do, they got their fingers in everything here, right? They're, they, they're mixed up in all, the whole immune response. Cytotoxic T cells are somewhat limited, but they are key components. They kill your cells. They are either going to pop them or cause them to die from uh, apoptosis. That's the cell death. These things, anything that has any one of your cells that has something in it. So a virus infects the inside of your cell. Cancer is a problem within the cell. Bacteria, some can infect the. They can be intracellular. Most aren't. <clears throat> but if anything gets in your cells, it's the job of cytotoxic T cells to kill them. Uh, regulatory after your. Immune response has successfully uh, gotten rid of the, the threat. You don't want them to have, you don't want them to be sitting around still on high alert. It costs energy to have your immune system geared way up. It is dangerous because these, these immune system cells are capable of killing your cells. So you want to have somebody kind of turn down the, the thermostat after the, uh, after the immune response is uh, successful. Whenever you get an organ transplant, you have to match. This is kind of a switch in gears here, but that's how the book's going. You have to make sure that you match up the organ or blood with the person that's receiving it because otherwise your uh, cell-mediated uh, immune system will kill that organ. It will treat that organ just like it's a broken organ of yours, which means you often need immunosuppressive therapy, which is not... A walk in the park either but like I say here you need a kidney you need a kidney right so you're gonna put up with it what can go wrong well a lot here's three things immunodeficiencies and some examples uh, this this says a B cell cancer it's not a B cell cancer it's a B cell cancer uh, AIDS right here is the disorder that is caused by HIV which is the virus so just like uh, SARS-CoV-19-2 uh, is the virus COVID-19 or sars coronavirus 19 2 whatever, is the virus uh, COVID-19 is the disease. So here we have HIV is the virus, a AIDS is the disease. And what happens is that HIV targets your helper T cells, sending your whole immune system into, a, into chaos. Next group of disorders are called autoimmune disorders. And this is when you develop an immunity to your own cells. You develop a response to your own tissues, which is not good. If your immune system starts attacking your own cells, well, you're going to have issues like uh, if you've known anybody with rheumatoid arthritis, that uh, affects joints. Lupus is a big, broad spectrum uh, autoimmune disorder. Type 1 diabetes is where you attack your own beta cells. MS is where you attack your own uh, myelinated neurons, which slows down the, the, uh, the nervous impulse transmission rate. Lastly, hypersensitivities. Most we think of these as allergies. Uh, there's a big group. There's, big, there's a list of different types, but just know hypersensitivities are when your immune system fights off what it thinks is a threat. I'm allergic to pollen. Uh, some kind of pollen, mountain cedar, I think. And whenever that pollen gets on my mucous membranes, I have the fits, right? Because I'm exhibiting an inflammatory response. I'm producing histamine. I'm uh, vasodilating. All my white blood cells are getting out into my mucous membranes. And it makes you miserable. Now, if you are severely allergic to something, like uh, say some people are severely allergic to a bee sting. I've been stung by lots of bees. I'm fine. If I had an allergy, 
uh, that one bee sting wouldn't just swell up on my arm. It would cause my entire body to react like I had been stung by one giant bee. So massive vasodilation, edema, blood pressure drop, uh, basically anaphylactic shock is what, what could happen if that happens. I have a friend who's allergic to certain kinds of nuts, and one time he ate some without knowing it, and he I watched him go downhill until I had to take him to uh, to the hospital. And he, they gave him so much epinephrine, uh, his heart was going a mile a minute, but he's arrived. All right, well, that's it. I know it's a long chapter. I'll put out the, uh, the, the actual PowerPoints in the notes and uh, have a look at it. Please stop by the office hours if you have questions. I can explain it again.